AITAH for refusing to remove a piece of jewelry at the request of my friend on her wedding day. AITAH for refusing to remove a piece of jewelry at the request of my friend on her wedding day. I am not the OP sorry if there's paragraph errors and such. I'm on mobile. Op is you, Blue Roses 95. First post November 9th, 2021. AITAH for refusing to remove a piece of jewelry at the request of my friend on her wedding day. My. 31F. Friend. 30F. We'll call Mary. Got married last week and I was in her bridal party. For context. We are friends from high school and all of her other bridesmaids were her friends from college who. I hadn't met until her bachelorette party several months ago. I also wasn't familiar with anyone at this wedding outside of Mary's immediate family. I was supposed to attend the wedding with my own fiancé but he contracted COVID five days before we were supposed to leave and made the choice to stay home for everyone's safety. I tested negative and we don't live together. Our fifth anniversary of our first date was two months ago and he got me a beautiful opal necklace on a gold chain specifically to wear to the wedding because it complemented my bridesmaid dress. I asked Mary in our bridal party group chat if she was alright with us wearing our own jewelry to the wedding. She said no problem. The necklace. Day of the wedding comes. All of us bridesmaids and Mary meet early in the morning for pictures outside the chapel. Mary sees my necklace and loves it and actually asked if she could switch her necklace with mine. Some other bridesmaids chime in and say that it would be her, something borrowed. I tried as politely as I could to tell her that my fiancé got this for me to wear to the wedding. And especially since he can't be here. I'd like to keep it on. Mary and the other bridesmaids were persistent. Saying it was her wedding and her pictures and I wasn't being accommodating. But I firmly told them no. Mary then said if I could at least take it off since it looked nicer than her own jewelry. Again. I told her I'd rather not. I'd like to share the wedding photos of myself in the necklace with my fiancé. She was not happy. Neither of the bridesmaids were either. I received a lot of cold shoulders and dirty looks at the ceremony and reception. I felt awful. After the first dance. Mary's sister came up to me to tell just how upset Mary was and rude it was that I upset her so on. Her big day. Am I an asshole? It's been more than a week and I'm still thinking about it non-stop and Mary hasn't answered any of my texts. Second post the 6th of October, 2022. Ops update seems to be removed. I will be looking for a link to one of the sites that may have logged it. Raw Reddit of the removed update. Update. AITAH for refusing to remove a piece of jewelry at the request of my friend on her wedding day. Hi everyone. Thanks for being patient. I know a lot of folks have been expecting an update. For a while. Nothing had really changed. Mary continued to ignore my texts and I hadn't heard from her. That was until this past fall. In February. Mary's father was diagnosed with lymphoma. In September, he passed away. Her family is very tight-knit and we grew up in a small town. So everyone came out to help them. I went to the funeral but didn't get to speak to her beyond condolences. I decided to visit her at home the next night, unprompted with some cooked food. Her husband answered the door and was actually very happy to see me. He gave me a hug and told me he was grateful I came and took me into their living room where Mary was watching old movies. Mary was also excited to see me. Gave me a hug and told me to sit with her. Her husband brought us wine and we spent hours talking, laughing, reminiscing about her dad. It was like the last year never happened. That was until a little past midnight and Mary told me she needed to talk to me about her wedding. She said she has no intention of wearing the necklace. She just wanted it out of the pictures. She said she recognized it from years ago. You see, Mary and I went to a public high school. But my fiancé and Mary's sister, Annie, 
went to a private high school in the area. When my fiancé and Annie were in school, he asked her out as a joke. Annie used to be very overweight in high school. He asked her out at school and later when he was supposed to pick her up. He left at their door a bouquet of bacon and fries and a stuffed animal pig that was wearing the necklace. Mary remembered how much her sister cried. She thought if she recognized the necklace, Annie would too. And Annie did. She was so traumatized by seeing it again and learning who my fiancé was that she told me I ruined the wedding. Mary didn't want to bring it up at the time and tried to get me to take it off while not explaining this horrible memory on her big day. Naturally, I was shocked at what I heard, and when I called him the next day to ask about it, he denied it. I pressed him and eventually he did tell me it was true. But it was only a high school prank not to take seriously. I asked him if he gave me that necklace so Annie would see it. He said yes but he thought she would understand the joke. I'm now wondering if he even had COVID last year. He never showed me his positive test if he knew how much Mary's family hated him and if he sent me with the necklace to further traumatize Annie. I feel sick. I haven't answered his calls and having second thoughts about our future marriage. Mary and I are back on good terms she and her husband invite me over frequently. They've both stated they'll support me and let me stay with them if I call things off. Again I am not the op. How did he get the necklace back if it was with any on the pig? She wouldn't have returned it. Literal psychopath behavior. I would never be able to look at my fiancé the same way again. Reading the first post. He got a special necklace for the wedding? That's so sweet. Reading the second post. Oh. That took an unexpected turn. Communication seems to be a key many miss. Very skeptical of this one but if true no question to leave the guy. That's calculated cruelty and he'll turn it on her one day. Oh damn. I was definitely expecting Bridezilla and not a broken engagement. Um, okay, so a HS kid bought a gold jeweled necklace as a mean prank and then either got it back or bought another one and N then saved it for 13-15 years? I mean, I know this sub feeds on this stuff but come on guys. Let's pull back just a second from the pitchforks and feeding our outrage. What I don't get is why didn't Mary tell Oop right away when Mary started dating the jerk? How did he get the necklace back and why save it for so long? I'm so confused. This one has always felt off to me. Inviting your sister's bully to your wedding. Not taking Oop aside and just giving her a Cliff's Notes version of the story at the wedding and promising to explain later. Oop not dumping him when he admitted to using her to hurt someone else. He asked her out at school and later when he was supposed to pick her up. He left at their door a bouquet of bacon and fries and a stuffed animal pig that was wearing the necklace. I may be missing something. But how did the fiancé get the necklace back? I call BS on this BS. That's weird he kept the necklace all that time. I legitimately did not see that coming. But it wouldn't have killed Mary to say, that necklace looks a lot like one given to my sister and I don't want her to be upset. Would you mind taking it off? Quote. Yikes. Mary should have been up front. Sure. But holy hell. It's one thing to be an asshole teenager with little to no concept of how hurtful your actions can actually be. And another thing completely to double down on it as an adult and claim it should not have had an impact. You don't get to tell people you've harmed that they shouldn't be hurt. Op posted a picture of the necklace. No. No. Babe. 
trust me. It's been years. It's only a high school prank that I decided to reference through you without telling you, s. There are bigger holes in this plot than there were on the Titanic. An opal necklace seems a bit pricey for a bullying joke. Wow fiancé is another level of trash. He decided to continue to bully the bride's sister during her wedding. And decided to do it by letting his fiancé go and suffer the backlash of it all alone. I can't believe Oop is only having second thoughts and not already left him. I guess she's too focused on the bullied someone else and hasn't realized he's also harming her on purpose. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.